So we've had a nice bounce off the lows, right? About 6% or so on the S&P 500. What now is the question? We give a little bit back today. Is this just another one of your run-of-the-mill bear bounces? Yeah, I mean, I'm still very optimistic on where the markets are going. But the big thing going to be this week is, you're right, that inflation rate, right? Everybody's worried, is the inflation going to be peaking here? Are we going to see the Fed continue to raise rates? And I think likely we're going to be in this continuing interest rate envi raising environment. So some of your longer duration assets are likely going to continue to underperform. So, yes, we're seeing this bounce in tech over the last week. I don't necessarily think that you, that's where you want to be chasing right now. But you want to still look at some of your cyclicals. Okay, so we're going to get to that in a second. But this line that you just had, I'm still optimistic on, on the markets. Where does that optimism come Come from? I think ultimately the economy is in a better place, and I think a lot of people give it credit for. I mean, we have a really strong labor force. Ultimately, wage growth is still going up. That's why people are able to sustain this inflation. I think as long as you have that, it is still theoretically possible to have a soft landing. I think we could continue to see things get on good footing. We just have to get through this. We have to see peak inflation, see people get through this, but so far they've been able to. Okay, so your view is not at all recession in the U.S.? It's possible, right? I mean, I can't discount the fact that it's a possibility, but I don't think it's a foregone conclusion. Yeah, but I mean, you can't have a very optimistic view of the stock market if you in turn think that we're going to have a recession. Correct. I'm not of the mindset that we're in an impending recession. I'm not discounting the fact it's a possibility, but no, I'm not of that mindset. What about